June 18th, 1900, the Dowager Empress Sishi of China proclaimed war against the colonizing powers in China, including diplomats and their families. This order was made during the Boxer Rebellion, which occurred from 1899 to 1901, and was a popular uprising of Chinese against foreign imperialists who had been imposing their will upon China. For 55 days, foreigners and Christian Chinese were held under siege at a legation or embassy in Peking, now modern-day Beijing. A major motion picture, 55 Days at Peking in 1963, starring Charlton Heston, David Niven, and Ava Gardner, is loosely based on this event. It flopped at the box office, however, earning only $10 million in spite of its huge budget for the time of $17 million. Not surprisingly for that era in Hollywood, Chinese characters were mostly played by Caucasian actors. The political situation in China at the turn of the last century was incredibly muddled, with royal intrigue between the Emperor Guangzhou and his various consorts, wives, who vied for power. Despite their efforts, though, real power was held by the Dowager Empress Sushi, Guangzhou's aunt. When both the Emperor and Dowager Empress Sushi died within days of each other in 1908, and Guangzhou's nephew, Puyi, succeeded him, Empress Zhao Dingjing, one of Guangzhou's wives, jumped at the opportunity to consolidate power by adopting the boy as she had no children of her own. Now known as Dowager Empress Longyu, she thus became the regent of the last emperor of China, and in effect ruled until the revolution of 1911 to 1912, when she signed an abdication on behalf of the six-year-old boy emperor, ending China's imperial rule. In 1913, Empress Longyu died at age 45 of natural causes following an illness. As for Emperor Puyi, he was back on the throne for a two-week reign in 1917 and was later installed as a puppet ruler by the occupying Japanese during World War II. After the war, Puyi was tried as a war criminal and was jailed for 10 years. In 1967, he died at the age of 61 of kidney cancer, escaping persecution by the Communist Party. A 1987 film about Puyi called The Last Emperor was a box office hit and earned over $43 million, $20 million more than its budget. At least in this movie, the Chinese characters were played by people of Asian descent. As a question for my students and subscribers, should China restore its imperial family to power? Please let us know in the comment section below this video. If you like this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines and become one of our patrons. Your viewership is much appreciated.